Hello guys. Um, Haskavarna 545. I uh, I don't like uh, how it runs. Um, I suspect it's low on uh, compression. Although it has some compression, I believe is it doesn't have uh, the compression required by the manufacturer whatever uh, that is i don't know maybe above 125 uh, psi pounds per square inch so um, i went uh, online and bought a replacement obviously oh this is a chinese uh, set but it's all uh, it's all nice if you can have a look, it's all, all the transfers are chamfered uh, very nicely. Um, I have uh, deburred a little bit with the Dremel inside of this uh, uh, air uh, uh, transfers because it had some uh, casting slug left. I've cleaned a little bit the uh, intake uh, where the flange goes, so uh, yeah, I'll transfer everything. Uh, well, everything uh, is just the uh, decompression valve, and uh, I'll see how uh, this goes. Um, but uh, looks okay, looks nice. Uh, the finish is uh, is very good, very nice finish, to be honest. We'll see how this one runs. Um, another thing. If you can see inside, it has a leap over there, but I don't know. I'm tempted to grind that uh, and just uh, uh, chum for it. So, yeah, most probably I'll do that. So, yeah, I'll see you once I, uh, obviously, I have to dismantle it, remove the existing one yeah so uh, I'll install this one okay um, remove the existing cylinder which it has signs of uh, wear um, this was the aftermarket uh, piston installed. These are not, uh, this is not damaged. Just, yeah, still uh, usable. Okay, but uh, clean the, the base where the gasket goes. I'll use some uh, mastic anyway, because it's quite, uh, the cylinder has a, uh, this for fixing points but uh, nothing to reach uh, the front here so uh, once i have the the new one on i'll uh, we'll see how it goes okay i've transferred everything so the carb uh, receiving plate to the new cylinder um, Again, I've used a little bit of uh, silicon. It's uh, the one recommended by Steel, so should be okay. Um, be careful with the uh, front uh, spacers to the um, cylinder um, um, fixing bolt. Um, first, it's easier to install the two front bolts with the spacers put the cylinder down because you're not gonna have space and then uh, the, these ones you can uh, easily hold them with something like that yeah so you can hold them and then uh, run your uh, bolt through um, yeah so transfer the decompression now I'm gonna put back the carb um, and uh, we'll see. 
Okay, now he's back. Believe me to go in and out. Uh, I know for uh, you maybe it's roughly five minutes, but it didn't take me more than 20 minutes to half an hour to do everything. So I said in the first video that these are complicated. Yes, there are fiddly with this uh, with the wiring from uh, the carburetor, but uh, but uh, it's not that complicated. Once you uh, if you've done it once, that's it. Uh, it's kind of self-explanatory. So we'll put a cover. Yeah, I done the. I've installed the muffler. Yeah, and uh, we'll see how it goes. This is the first uh, start, to be honest. Um, let me just uh, put uh, quickly the bar and chain um, just to make sure I don't uh, have the clutch loose ok bar and chain on um, I've converted to 3 8 3 8 7 so should be more than ok um okay let me try to start it see what's uh, happening one second we have some problems with the chain on the bar chain wasn't on so it wasn't on the on the sprocket okay the chain wasn't on the it wasn't on the sprocket so um, now it's uh, nice runs uh, nice and smooth um, okay let's uh... hello guys this is honestly the first first star first uh, start after uh, Whatever, at the uh, piston and pulling back. Okay, that's a uh, positive. Um, runs a little bit better. Not, uh, I don't know. I still uh, suspect the carburetor being a little bit uh, off the settings. Okay. Um, this uh, Chinese piston and cylinders they don't really line up um, with the decompression and uh, if you can uh, see it doesn't is not really centered but uh, well uh, I can live with that 
that. Let's see the restart. So Looks like uh, positive. Don't worry, that's just uh, some oil uh, burning, most probably either from uh, exhaust or uh, the clutch, because uh, I've done the clutch bearing. I've uh, so um, yeah, that was that was all with uh, 545. I hope it will it will uh, last. It will hold its uh, tune. Looks like uh, it runs a little bit better. Uh, we'll see. Uh, bar and chain, obviously um, used, but uh, still plenty life and uh, not that bad. I'll just touch it, touch up, and uh, it's gonna be okay. I'll uh, make a couple more uh, starting cycles on this and uh, we'll see how long uh, this uh, Chinese cylinder uh, and piston will hold but they looked okay guys thank you very much thank you very much and that's that's all thank you